Today, let's talk about how plastic goes into the ocean and affects marine life while I put on some reef safe sunscreen and head out for the day. So it's known on secret that plastic and trash tends to always end up in the ocean and it's detrimental and a lot of people don't really know how it gets there and what it really does when it gets there. One of the common ways that plastic gets into the ocean is by storms and runoff, trash falling into the rivers and the water systems, getting pushed out into the ocean. But there's also sources that come directly from the ocean itself. Nets, fishing lines, shipping waste. And that's not even getting into any of like the microplastics that are just released by abrasion. And now the second thing that we have to talk about when we, it can be kind of scary what it does. I think the most obvious ones already are entanglement. It can entangle things. You've seen all those videos with like dolphins and turtles getting stuck in nets and plastic. But the last part to this is that if all of these marine animals are eating this plastic, you have to think one more step down the line because humans also eat a lot of these marine animals. So when humans are eating these fish, they're actually consuming parts and of those plastic elements that those animals have already eaten. To end the circle, all this trash goes into the ocean, gets eaten by animals, we eat the animals, we're eating the plastic. So make sure you limit your single-use plastics Think about reusing, recycling, and follow Future Swell for more sustainability tips 